So in the next few tutorials, we're going to take an in-depth look at Cinema 4D Dynamics. So the first few tutorials might seem a little simple for the more uh, advanced users, and this series will consist of probably around 15 tutorials. So in the first tutorial, I'm just going to go through um, the very basics of Dynamics in Cinema 4D. So I've got this simple scene set up here with a couple of objects. I've got a cube, a sphere, a capsule, and an oil tank. So basically, if you want to make an object dynamic, we need to add a tag to it, a simulation tag specifically. So I'm just going to grab my cube here. I'm going to go to Tags, Simulation Tags, and I'm going to choose Rigid Body. So this is quite a typical tag, and if I play back my animation, the cube is just going to fall. So basically the dynamics are calculated for the duration of the animation. One important thing to note is at frame 0 we can actually initialize the object position. But if we go to say frame 13 we can no longer move this object because the dynamics take over. So frame 0 is basically where we carry out all the initialization, positioning, things like that. We can also uh, multiple select objects, so I'm just going to select these three objects here and I'm going to add a simulation tag, rigid body, and now all the objects are falling. So if we want to control the gravity we go to project settings and here we can set the global uh, gravity. So by default it's set to a thousand centimeters per second squared. And this is actually very close to Earth's gravity, which is actually 981 centimeters per second squared. So they've basically just rounded this up to a thousand centimeters. So this would be more accurate. I'm just going to place a floor object in here. Now a floor object is different because if I were to place a plane and add a rigid body tag to this and play this back basically everything falls together but a floor object does not fall so I'm just going to add a rigid body tag to my floor object so if I play back the animation now my objects collide with the ground If you were using a plane object, so I'm just going to hide this quickly. I'm going to put the plane back in. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. Um, if we wanted this to stay still, we would basically have to add a rigid body tag and then where it says shape automatic, we'd have to set this to static mesh. And as you can see, the plane stops falling. but I'm just going to go back to my floor object. Lastly, uh, as I mentioned, gravity in the project settings is the global gravity. We also have other options such as time scale density, air density. We're going to go into these in the future tutorials. But uh, if you wanted to create kind of bubbles like buoyancy, you could set this to negative 981 or whichever value you like. And if we play this back, the objects now travel upwards. And this could be quite useful for uh, liquid simulations, um, bubbles in a pint of beer. So this is just a very uh, basic introduction to Dynamics in Cinema 4D. Share this tutorial if you find it useful. And thanks for watching.